Hello, I am Claudia and I work in the Poison Centers team in ECA. In this presentation, you will hear about uh, how to prepare your Poison Centers notification, what are the new developments of the Poison Centers IT solution that has been recently released, and what are the upcoming changes and improvements that you will see in the next months. Let's start describing how industry can prepare a Poison Centers notification. The Poison Center notification format structures the information on hazardous mixtures classified for health or physical hazards. Format is XML based and defined by the requirements laid out in Annex 8 to the CRP regulation. Based on the Poison Center's format, there are three ways to prepare a Poison Center's notification using the ECA submission portal, using Euclid Offline using a company-owned system. Now I will briefly explain how you can use each one of them. In the ECA submission portal, you can prepare your Poison Center's dossier in a simple way, section after section. Your data are stored in the Euclid Cloud in a secure manner, and you can access them and use them as many times as you need. Euclid Cloud is maintained, backed up, and updated by ECA so you can prepare your dossier always using the most recent Poison Centers format. Offline, you can prepare a Poison Centers notification by using Euclid 6, a software that you can download from the Euclid website. Once you have installed Euclid 6 on your computer, it has to be maintained locally. And in case of new releases, you need to make sure that you replace the old version with a new one to be sure that you can prepare valid Poison Centers notifications. Euclid 6 is available also in a server version for companies planning to have multiple users. The third way to prepare a Poison Center's notification is generally used by companies with a vast portfolio. Companies can use their own system to prepare Euclid compatible dossiers in an automated way, provided that the dossier follow the Poison Center format. In this case, when a new version of the Poison Center's format is available, Company systems need to be adapted accordingly. Let's move now to the new developments of the Poison Center's IT solution that has been recently released. The Poison Center's IT solution was released for the first time in April 2019. Since then, there have been already several additional releases aimed at improving the tools to prepare and submit Poison Center's notifications. In 2020, Two releases already took place, one in January and one in May. In this last release, several improvements have been implemented to ease the preparation of dossiers and to enhance their submission, either via the ECA submission portal or using the system-to-system -system service. A list of the main features that have been made available in 2020 is displayed on the slide. Among them, there is a particular improvement I would like to bring to your attention, and it's about how you can prepare your Poison Center's notification. When using the Euclid Cloud services, you can approach the preparation of a Poison Center notification via the dataset view or via the guided dossier tool. Building a Poison Center notification in dataset view mode requires creating all the relevant substance datasets, creating any mixture in mixture datasets, creating a mixture dataset, which contains information about the dossier, about the mixture composition, and about the product. On the other hand, preparing a poison sentence notification using the guided dossier tool allows to provide the information in a different order. First, you define the information about the dossier, like uh, in which market areas you want to notify and in which languages you want to prepare the dossier. Then you fill in the information on the mixture, like its pH or logical information related to that mixture. Then you provide information on the composition, creating a mixture in mixture, if that's necessary, creating the mixture in mixture components, and adding all the substances you need to complete the composition of your final mixture. After that, you can fill in the information on the product. Regardless the approach you decide to use, 
Once you have created the dossier, you can validate the information contained and you can submit it. An additional difference between the guided dossier tool and the dataset view used to be the amount of documents and fields the user would be exposed to. While in the guided dossier tool, only the Poison Center's related documents and fields would be displayed, the dataset view would display all the Euclid documents and their related fields, as it would happen for the preparation of dossiers for other legislations. This feature used to make the preparation of the Poison Center notification from the dataset view quite cumbersome for users not familiar with Euclid. So, to overcome this problem, the last release, occurred on the 4th of May, introduced customized dataset view for Poison Center's notifications. In the future, that will allow ECA to extend the improvements to the data preparation not only to the Poison Center's users, but to all the Euclid users in general. In the upcoming months, ECA will also support Poison Center users with training and informational material to make them familiar with the dataset view mode and to increase its use as soon as possible. To show you in practice what that means, please have a look at this slide where screen taken from the dataset view are put in comparison. Both the images come from the dataset view and show a Euclid document where the information about the physical properties of the product is stored. However, on the left-hand side, the full Euclid document is displayed, and here you can see that all the related fields are revealed to the user. On the right-hand side, the same Euclid document has been customized for the Poison Center's user. That means that only the Poison Center's relevant field are exposed to the user, making it easier for him to prepare Poison Center's notification. Additional improvements in the data CPU are expected in the next release in July and in October 2020. ECAS IT tools allow you to validate the information you include in your Poison Center's notification. Validation assistant functionality available online and offline in Euclid, can check the information you include in your Poison Center notification before you submit it. A validation report is then available to assess the rules that have been triggered and to edit any information as a result. A second validation also occurs in the portal after you submit your dossier. That includes additional checks that can be only checked by the portal itself like, for example, if the UFI has already been submitted. After the dossier has been submitted, a validation report containing the results from the full set of checks will be visible to both the submitter and the appointed body at the same time. To run those checks, a set type of rules are periodically implemented in the Poison Center's ID tools. An updated list of validation rules will be soon available on the ECA Poison Center's website. Let's move now to the tools made available by ECA to submit Poison Center's notifications. The first tool available is the ECA Submission Portal. From here, you can prepare your dossiers by accessing the Euclid Cloud. You can submit them to all the member states where you intend to place your product, provided that all the relevant language requirements are met. And you can always go back to your submissions, see their details, manage them as you wish. The second way to submit Poison Center's notifications is using the system-to-system -system service. The system-to-system -system service is an automatic transfer allowing companies that have created Poison Center's dossiers in their own systems to submit their notifications to the ECA submission portal. In this way, companies can submit a high number of dossiers all at once, and dossiers are then available to all the relevant member states. The access to the system-to-system -system service needs to be requested from the agency via the ECA contact form. Regarding that, be informed that a new contact form has recently been created specifically for system-to-system -system related inquiries. You can find the new contact form on the ECA website. If you wish to test your submission, you can do so by using the isolated test environment ECA has created for both your 
some meeting via the ECA portal and those using the system-to-system -system service. Using the test environment is very important to guarantee that appointed bodies and poison centers only receive correct and quality information that then they use to provide response in emergency situations. In the test environment, you can try different test scenarios and full validation is provided as well. You can run your test submission safely and with no interference with other users. If you want to test your submission via the ECA portal, you can follow the link provided in the slide and available on the ECA Poison Center's web. From there, you can safely submit your process. Similarly, if you want to run a test submission using the system-to-system -system service, you need to follow the instructions available in the system-to-system -system technical documentation. Now let's move to the upcoming changes in the Poison Center's IT solution planned for October 2020. The Euclid format represents the basis the Poison Center's format is built on. It has been developed by ECA in collaboration with the OECD and it promotes the harmonization of chemical data. It is used for the preparation of doses for different legislations in Europe, as well as in Australia and New Zealand. Once a year in October, the Euclid format gets updated and the updates affect all the Euclid users, including the Poison Centers users. In the last month, a new format changes have been identified and some of them are relevant for the Poison Centers users as well. In this slide, uh, we have listed the format changes that are relevant for Poison Center certifications and that will become available in October this year. When you want to update your dossier, including one or more market areas, you will have the possibility to indicate so in the justification for update available in the dossier header. The EU product categorization system will be updated to indicate the product's main intended use. And when describing the product, you will find cartridge as a new packaging type available for selection. Then a number of format changes coming from the amendments to Annex 8 uh, will be available as well. When the pH of the mixture is not relevant and a reason has to be indicated, the new Poison Santa's format will include the possible reasons industry needs to select among. You will find the possibility to include standard formulas and to indicate interchangeable components in your mixture composition. Finally, as required by the legal text, generic product identifier will be changed to generic component identifier. We invite you to get ready for the upcoming UK format changes as soon as possible. You can already find the draft specifications documented on the UCLI website. And the final changes will then be published on 28th of October. By that date, also the subset of the UCLI format relevant to Poison Centers notifications will be published on the ECA Poison Centers website. More functionalities and additional improvements to the Poison Center's IT solution are foreseen during 2020. Another release in the cloud is planned for July, where further improvements to the dossier preparation from the dataset view are expected. Finally, the October release will reflect the adaptations to the Second Amendment 1x8, the UK format updates, and we bring announced functionalities to the Poison Centers database for appointed bodies and Poison Centers. To conclude, this presentation has focused on how to prepare your Poison Centers notification and how you can already start using the data set view to prepare them in the Euclid Cloud. We also looked at the main improvements now available to submit your Poison Centers notifications and how important it is to use the test environment to test your submissions. Finally, we introduced the upcoming improvements and UK format changes relevant for Poison Center users that will become available in October 2020.
Keep on watching to learn more about how to report to person centers. And thank you for your attention.